Hello everyone, welcome back to Joystick Lab. In the last tutorial, we saw that how we can change the texture of the plane by changing the material of the default plane. Um, now in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to create a collection of tiles just as if it's a um, showroom or an e-commerce business for a tile selling company. So there should be a list or a collection of tiles that you can select from and based on which tile you selected, the tile will be drawn on the uh, floor uh, material, right? So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is just create some UI component so that we can select the tiles by clicking on some button with some texture. Now to do that, what we need first is a bunch of tile textures. So I already have uh, some textures downloaded. I also recommend you to do so. And when you are done, you can come back and start the video again. So for this tutorial, we're going to use on-screen UI. That means the UI element should be on the um, screen space, right? But uh, in future tutorials, in some of the other um, projects, I'll show you how to create a special UI. That means the UI should be in the wall space, right? So to create an UI, the first thing we need to do is like create a canvas. So I'm just going to right click UI. And if I select a panel, that will automatically create a canvas for me. Now the panel is basically going to act as a holder. So we basically don't need the image component in it. So uh, what we need to do is click on the panel, select this small rectangle in the uh, inspector window that will show you all the anchors and then if you hold shift plus alt or option in the Mac so you can see that there is different options right so I'm just gonna select this one so that means it will stretch the panel and always going to be fit on the screen okay also, in the canvas, we need to make sure that the UI scale mode is selected as scale with screen size. This is going to help us to make our UI responsible with any kind of screen resolution, right? In the, in the reference resolution, what I do, there is different ways of uh, handling this. You can put a really big number on the reference resolution. What I like to do is just select one of the resolutions from here, maybe the biggest one, which is this. This is going to be my, maybe, the, sorry, uh, this one, no, this one, yeah. And then I can uh, just put that value, so 2160 and then 1018. Right. You can do uh, it different ways as well. Again, like I said, the value, you can just put a really big value here. Or maybe you can select um, this one and then you can say 80 and uh, 480 in the Y. So it's up to you, but make sure you be consistent with it. And in the match, I'm just going to say 0.5. Okay, now that we have a canvas with a panel, we should create another panel that is going to hold our mm, that is going to hold all the buttons right so mm, I'm just gonna go to UI and then create a panel scale this down again go to the um, stretch mode hold shift alt and I'm just gonna select the lower bottom right and stretch it so this is going to be the texture holder okay great now what we need to do is um, add a 
horizontal layout group with the texture holder so that all the texture that we put here is always going to be um, like padded in a particular distance right or we can also use uh, just the scroller but maybe we can do that later on when we do the furniture project for this project just keep it in this way simple right okay so the next thing we need to do is just create a few uh, raw image and maybe scale it down sorry scale it up a little bit something like this and then just duplicate some copy right okay also make sure that in the horizontal layout group your child alignment is middle center all right okay so the next thing we need to do is um handling the handling the materials through this texture so the 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 first thing i should do is just assign some image on this so let's start with that i'm just gonna select all of them and i have a button texture that will be applied with uh, to all the images and also i have button mask so let's create another image here call it the mask and apply the button mask here maybe just make it a sprite and then apply the button mask here that's great uh, and finally we need to add a mask script I'm just gonna delete all of this maybe just do it later just do it for one of them first and then just duplicate that right that makes more sense okay so this is my this is going to be going to be my mask so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger something like this put it somewhere in between here and then I need to create the final one which is going to be my actual um, texture right so I'm just gonna create another image make it bigger not image this is going to be raw image because we are going to use the textures right so raw image support texture image game object or image UI component support sprite so we need a texture so that's why it should be a raw image okay and then apply the first texture that we have I downloaded some uh, content from internet you can also do so and then if I make it bigger as you can see the mask nicely puts it in the middle of our screen this is awesome okay so that's great the last thing we need to do is now is to um, create a button right create a button you can do it in multiple ways to keep it clean what I am going to do is just create a button on the parent object which is gain, which is basically this button like this whole thing right so I'm just gonna create a button on the raw image just gonna call it texture one and then I can just duplicate this multiple times and for each of it I need to select the raw image so I'm just gonna search for raw image that will show me all the raw images and then one by one I'm just gonna apply the textures 
okay so now that we have our UI set up the next thing we need to do is that write some script so that the buttons can be mapped to the material so whenever we click on of this button it uh, changes changes the texture in this material uh, to the one that we expect right so to do that we will need a uh, we should need a c-sharp script but first of all let's create an empty game object call it plain material manager and when I'm going to create a new folder call it scripts inside the script I'm just going to create a c-sharp script call it plain mat manager and then open it so the first thing we need to do is just create a reference for the material so I'm just going to create a material and call it plain mat next I will need a list of the, all the buttons right we need the unity UI uh, namespace to call the button unity engine not editor engine dot UI okay and then or maybe just call it um, I don't know plain text buttons and then we should go through each of the button in the list and assign the event listener right so we should add the listener to all the on click event and to assign the listener we should need a method I'm just gonna call it on click button and just pass that in here awesome so now I'm also prefer to uh, do everything in the AVEC because AVEC is called before start so we can make sure that this is executed um, before the app is basically started okay okay so not the app started I mean those as soon as the app starts we should make sure that this block of code is uh, running right so that's why I'm putting in it in the AVEC it sh start should also work okay now the next thing we need to do is go to the plain manager add the script which is the plain mat material drag and drop the material here we have multiple buttons so what I'm going to do is just first of all lock this game object select all the textures from here and drag and drop in here okay so now we have six buttons and remember that our texture is going to be in here right so what we can do now is go back here now this can be done in many different ways I'm just gonna use the simple one I'm just grabbing the texture from the uh, transform of the button and I'm just going to find that inside the button game object so just mm, let me finish this and then I'm gonna explain to you raw image dot texture so what's happening here is that I am grabbing the button which means this components right I'm grabbing the buttons and for each of them I'm finding the mask and then the raw image right finding the mask slash raw image I'm just gonna going to go to this raw image and then grab the texture from here right so in that way I can grab any texture when I'm clicking on of these buttons right so now 
finally I have to pass that texture here to apply it to the material so just create a new parameter here and then say plain dot main texture is going to be text okay and just pass that here this variable should go here because this is a listener we need to do that okay that's good awesome so yeah now that we have everything set up if you build and run the project you will see that if we select one of the tiles the tile in the plane the texture in the plane gets changed with the particular uh, tile all right so you created your first app with air foundation pretty simple but pretty useful as well so you can use the same concept to draw a different texture on the wall by going here if you see that there is a detection mode which is everything so this is also going to detect the vertical planes right that means the walls so say you want to um, draw some different kind of wooden texture in the wall you can do it in the same way or maybe your application is only about the horizontal plane the floor then you can just select the horizontal right so yeah that's all about it and in the next tutorial we're gonna explore more about it and we are going to start a new project which is going to be the IKEA Air Apps clone if you haven't checked it yet just I'm just gonna keep a link in the description box check the IKEA app developed by the um, IKEA company and you'll see that they're using augmented reality to design their interior environment with different kind of furniture so we're going to do the similar kind of stuff um, in the next course